Alright guys, it's time to finally finish the first five days of Postal 2. Now when Postal 2 initially came out in 2003, it only had these first five days. All we have left to do is go to the clinic and get the alternator. So we're going to start by going towards the clinic. Uh, take out our scissors as a little way to get, fa get through there faster, but uh, police don't seem too happy to have us around, but it's okay. The clinic's right here. We can just go on in. And maybe she can help us. Hello? 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 Ma'am? Hello? What? You're just shooting her! Oh, now you're shooting me. Alright, well... Time to die. You two. And you three. God, for once I'd like to just do one thing and... Uh, now she's got the coronavirus. Well, what I do next is free or everyone else is good, man. You probably thought you weren't gonna die today. Surprise. That was weird. Why did the audio cut off like that? Anyway. Hi there. Can anyone help you? Hmm. I'm experiencing a sort of burning, itching, spewing kind of effect. <laughs> Classic. Anyway, we need to go to the Vendicure, and it's right here. I am the Vendicure 9000. Please step forward and urinate. If you have a small bat, step up closer to the plate. Try not to splash me. And I swear to God, every time I do this, sometimes I can get it in right away, sometimes it's just real fast, and then other times like this, you just can't do it at all, unless I'm right up on there. So, you know what? Go ahead, it's time to make fun of the post dude. dude. Idubs? Ooh, mommy. Ooh, that's kind of small. Yikes. Thank you. Anyway, now that we've taken... Now that we get these gonorrhea pills, uh, once we take them, we get our full Next. our full capabilities back. So we can do this again. Awesome. And you know what? Maybe for once, I'll try and get the alternator. I'll just be able to do it without uh without leaving bodies all over the place. So that didn't work. But anyway, we're at the junkyard now, and. Hi there. Hey Chico, I need an alternator for an 87 to fuck you. That'll be 500 bucks. I ain't paying no 500 bucks. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're at the alternator. Got some dog treats here. Next, time to head home. Alright, so you, you can spam dog treats by throwing them out with the X button. Uh, and... When you do that, dogs who eat them will become your friends. I accidentally spewed out most of my inventory because I didn't realize that the alternator becomes an inventory item like that. So, yeah. On our way out, Sky takes a few extra flames to load in the rest of the game, but that's fine. And we have a bunch of dogs now. However, you may notice we didn't teleport home. And that's because... Good God, it's Normally, the apocalypse. I'd expect a fancy cinematic to explain such a crucial story element. The font is nice, though. Let's take a look at this. Good God, it's the apocalypse. Good, uh, random violence increases. The military and police are overwhelmed. Yeah, sounds about right for Paradise, Arizona. No one is safe, especially us, and then it's just a picture of us with a target on our face. Yeah, that's about right, too. And then the military denies ac accidental release of mind-altering gas. Hmm. That one's a little more sketchy. From here on out, we have to actually make our way all the way back home, and it's absolute bloodbaths. You know what that means. Hey, you want to hear a cool sound, by the way? Anyway... We, uh, also, we have one more thing we're going to do. Actually, two more things. First thing is, we're going to go over here. We're going to go towards the Lucky Ganesh. You remember the grocery store from Monday? Yeah, we're going to go there. And we're going to clear out the patrons. And the owner. Yeah, that's what they all say. Anyway. Kick, ki kick this door open. And you go down. Kick this pallet. 
At the bottom here, make sure you have dog treats equipped. This is hell. You go over to this ledge, and there are actual fucking hellhounds at the bottom of this pit. You throw a bunch of dog treats at them. These hellhounds aren't supposed to be friendly, and they're pretty, pretty damn hard to kill. In fact, these bastards are so hard to kill that most pe that some people don't even know that you can kill them. You go up the ladder, you come out over here by the library, and that technically does mean that I could have totally done this over here when I did this. But either way, you need to leave the area when you uh, give them a bunch of dog treats. And you gotta try and do this before too much time passes. And if you manage to do it right... By the way, these guys are also immune to the damage from the WMD, and there's something we gotta do in the police station, so... Here we are, last piece of business, round two with Gary and Crotchy. Take the matchbox, throw a couple matches at the sprinkler here, triggers the fire alarm, lets everyone out. Gary goes down easy with a single blast from the sawed off shotgun, but Crotchy can only be damaged by explosives. I don't know if he can be damaged by fire. I've never really tried? Hmm. Alright, let's see who's got the most powerful wang in Arizona. Is it you, Crotchy? No, I think... Uh... I think it's me, Crotchy! I think I have the most powerful dick in Arizona. Hell yeah. Anyway, that's all we had to do in the, poli in the police station. So, we're gonna just say goodbye to our neighbors before we inevitably join into the realm of Apocalypse Weekend. And, no, we don't come back here during Apocalypse Weekend. We... we... It becomes a more linear story focused game. But, uh... Yeah, so, just gotta cause as much absolute pandemonium and havoc as we can. Here's something that got caught from cut from the last video, too. You can pick up bodies and fling them around. So you can pick up corpse bodies and just infect an entire map with one plague body. And if you ever needed, an, uh, if you ever needed validation on how good the plague dog is, uh, normal NPCs don't really have the ability to kill the plague dog. And I've also taught him very well. Wait. What the fuck? Nice. Anyway, this is the map that we officially end the game on. We just gotta go over there, past that little house with the blue car. You know, the one that just exploded. We just gotta go past there, and once we hit the garden trellis, that's it. That is the end of Postal 2's initial run. At this point, I just wanted to make sure I did one last thing, and that's create another plague dog, because in between maps, the dogs lose the plague effect. But once we do that, this dog, we will not see it again. It disappears, and it shall just continue doing our work, killing everything it comes across until the end of time. That effectively gives us an infinite body count in this game. But I suppose with that done, it is finally time to... One more for the road. Okay, two more. Fine. Three more. This is the final time we're gonna use the shotgun for a little while. Anyway. Oh, there's the plague dog. 
Anyway, it's been good. Honey, I'm home. You won't believe the day I've had. About friggin' time. Did you remember my rocky road? Don't 